On the first day of the Democratic National Convention, pro-Palestinian activists showed up in force, but so did police in riot gear. Washington Examiner asked them why they were here in force. Here's what protesters told us. It's a reflection of the broad masses from across the United States. You know, the, the issue of Palestine, the issue of genocide in Palestine is a central issue for everybody. Obviously the Democratic National Convention is happening and it's a big moment to basically say we're disgusted that the Democrats have just signed a historic um, military aid package to Israel of $20 billion right after Kamala Harris was in, uh, coronated, right? And so we basically are saying we need to build maximum pressure on the Democrats uh, if we want to end this war. Um, I can only speak for myself. I don't know about the other people here. I personally will never support Kamala Harris or the Democratic Party. I am simply here to try and show my uh, position in terms of getting the government to uh, withdraw its support of Israel. I don't think there's any chance that the Democratic Party will ever get our vote because they are a party of the billionaires, just like the Republican Party. Neither, neither your party nor Kamala Harris's party has any answers to the problems facing American workers or workers anywhere. You don't have any solutions to the environmental crisis. You certainly don't have a solution to the crisis of the genocidal war on Gaza. Here at the Democratic National Convention at the United Center in Chicago, I'm Abinti Korshi with the Washington Examiner.